One of the biggest opportunities that you have for doing the PhD in wind energy, especially in Denmark, is the fact that the entire industry is more or less based here. All of the research and development and the manufacturing and the, the consultancy behind wind energy is from Denmark and is based in Denmark. The output of my PhD will help to build a greater share of wind power in the power system without needing for, for fossil fuel balancing systems or expensive batteries or other types of storage techniques. So we have very large wind farms in these days and their production, the generation of electricity, can vary very wildly over a short period of time. So one of the problems that I'm focusing on is how to predict these variations in their production. And I'm doing that by using observational data, measurements from a LIDAR. These LIDARs can measure wind speeds over very long distances. And I'm using these measurements to create a forecast for the wind farm. Even just looking at the, the raw measurement data from the LIDAR, we can see that it's possible to, to see patterns in the wind. And these patterns can be transformed into the forecasts. I can come with an idea and say I want to put these lidars, five lidars, around the campus and just get that done in one week is incredible. Uh, a lot of support from, from the, the community here to, to get new data sets and, and come up with ideas to test them. So of course we have a lot of, of equipment and infrastructure and facilities but the best thing really, I think the most valuable asset that DTU has is the people here. Very experienced, very knowledgeable, and very friendly. Collaborating with PhD students is probably the best part of, of my job. The interchange of ideas, the ability to nudge them a little bit in some directions, and also, of course, to be nudged back is, is just a beautiful way of exchanging knowledge. After writing my master thesis here, I was really inspired to stay because we have the ability to do the entire chain of an experiment, starting from the idea, the planning, working out in the field, coming back, working on the analysis and making presentations and, and getting this whole feedback loop from, from the scientists and the engineers that are here. And we have the ability to do that, which is very unique. I've developed a lot of competencies during the PhD. I feel that I've developed as a scientist, as an engineer, and as a, a person giving presentations, and, and the whole aspect of doing the PhD has been a good source of training for me. I think one of the, the biggest draws for me here is that there's always something cool going on. If you're into wind energy, there will be always an interesting seminar or a commercial project or something interesting. I mean, there's always something going on.